What's up guys? So in today's video, we're going to talk about why the stock market is down so much. And uh, you know, guys, it's really starting to look pretty ugly out there. Okay. So as of recording this video, there is a bit of green action on the futures, but um, obviously we've seen a lot of growth stocks, especially stocks in some of these new industries that I've been talking about on this channel, like EV stocks, things like that. A lot of growth stocks have been crushed. So just kind of give you guys a, a few of the stocks we've taken a look at. We've taken a look at the NASDAQ here. We've been on a major downtrend, okay? So we hit highs in the NASDAQ uh, basically in around early August. And ever since then, it's, it's just been uh, uh, down for a lot of stocks, okay? We've got st stocks like uh, Robinhood down, SoFi. Um, you know, it's just been a, a huge collapse. AMC stock has collapsed. So I'm going to be answering a bunch of questions in this video. And I'm going to give you guys uh, also a few stocks that I'm kind of looking at on the rebound. Before I get into the video, guys, please smash the like button if you enjoyed this content. And be sure to smash the red subscribe button as well to receive more videos from me. So what is really causing a lot of this sell off? Okay, so Taking a look at the NASDAQ, okay, we're up around 14% um, year to date on the NASDAQ, and it looks like things have topped off. So what I want to talk about is a lot of people, obviously, there's the whole Delta issue. That's definitely what a lot of people are looking at, and we have, of course, supply chain issues. But I want to talk about the Buffett indicator because I don't really see anyone talking about this on mainstream media. And for me, this is usually the first thing I look at when I see stocks crashing. I look at the Buffett indicator. So what is the Buffett indicator? Okay, well, the Buffett indicator is basically, okay, uh, this, you can go to this website. It's basically on Guru Focus. I usually just type in Buffett indicator in Google to go right to it. So the Buffett indicator uh, says that the stock market is significantly overvalued, according to the Buffett indicator, based on the historical ratio of the total market cap over GDP, which is at 200%. Uh, I've never seen this ratio this high, okay, guys? Uh, and the entire time I've been, you know, studying and investing in the stock market, uh, I'm in I, I'm in my mid 30s, and I've never seen the Buffett indicator this high. So if we take a look at the Buffett indicator here. This is basically uh, indicator here. We can see we have the GDP, okay, which is the green line, and then we have the uh, total stock market index, which is the blue line. So, you know, according to this indicator, okay, guys, the ratio is at 200%. So it really has never been this high throughout this entire decade, as you can see here. So to give you guys some kind of perspective, uh, in March 2020, when we saw that huge dip in the market and then everyone bought up stocks like crazy, I was telling you guys to buy Tesla stock on the dip, uh, the ratio was obviously much lower, okay? At that point, the ratio was just 120. So that was an excellent buying opportunity. Now this ratio is just out of control, guys, okay, 200%. So, you know, according to this ratio, basically stocks are trading at double of what the actual GD, total GDP is. And the reason we've seen that is we've seen a couple of reasons, okay. We've seen, obviously, um, you know, uh, mass money printing, low interest rates. So people are like, well, I'm not going to keep my money in a bank account. You know, it's not going to get the returns there. We've seen the rise of uh, stock trading apps like Robinhood and Webull. A lot of people are trading for the first time. So a lot of new money is poured into the stock market, and that sent stocks at a ridiculous valuations. So I think what's going on is you're seeing a lot of people that are taking profits. They're moving into more conservative assets. And I also think crypto is definitely taking, um, you know, uh, I think a lot of people are looking at crypto right now because as you guys are uh, familiar with cryptocurrencies, we can head over here. Uh, we go to recently viewed here we can take a look at bitcoin okay so bitcoin has been making a big move uh you know it's been making a big move up recently after its uh recent lows so i think a lot of money is pouring into crypto and we're seeing a lot of key stocks sell off so what um am i personally doing okay me i believe time in the market is more important than timing the market so obviously a lot of people are dumping stocks and things like that I've been looking for great buying opportunities. And the reason I've been simply doing that is simply because I'm a long-term investor, okay? I'm worried about getting as many shares as possible, okay? We know in the short term, there's going to be corrections in the stock market. So if we take a look here, especially at the NASDAQ over the short term, 
we can see that, yeah, there's volatility, okay? We've had some big swings, right? So we had some big run-ups in the NASDAQ, then some dips. Then we've had some run-ups, then some dips. But if we kind of zoom out over the last five years, okay, we can see that uh, you're going to do well over the last five years in the NASDAQ. And then if we kind of move back even further, we can see that the NASDAQ has this, like, exponential hockey uh, hockey stick growth. So... I don't expect that to, to, to stop anytime soon. Uh, you know, in the short run, there's, you know, dips and things like that. But over the long run, we're going to be moving up. And the reason I'm using the NASDAQ is because that, prop, that has a lot of the growth companies on like Amazon uh, and Apple and things like that. So NASDAQ has a majority of the stocks that we're basically talking about on this channel. Obviously, dividend stocks are going to do well. We've got a lot of great dividend stocks on the New York Stock Exchange and S&P 500. But for this example, I know a lot of you guys are investing in NASDAQ companies, so I think in the short term, there's going to be uh, dips, you dips, you know, a dip here, uh, you know, dips, dips, dips. But in the long run, things are going to go up. So that's why I'm not really selling any of my positions. Although it is pretty, pretty tough to see uh, some of these stocks get absolutely crushed. Um, you know, it's been a really rough run for Tesla, okay? Last year, I was all in on Tesla, uh, talking about it a ton. And I, I, I'm telling you guys to buy Tesla stock, I believe, back then, it was like, First time I started talking about Tesla stock, it was uh, probably back in right uh, after uh, it was like early as last year. Yeah, so Tesla stock was uh, this was pre-split. It was probably like I think it was around like yeah, like five hundred bucks, something like that, four hundred bucks. That's had a major run up, but you know, year to date Tesla really hasn't done well. Okay, it's 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 actually you know underperformed. So if we take a look at uh, what Tesla stock is doing year to date so if we just type in tesla stock here you guys can check this you can just simply type in the ticker and really quickly check the year to date returns we can see that tesla is only is actually down seven percent year to date so there is definitely going to be a lot of frustration i think a lot of people are going to get impatient and things like that but once again if we kind of zoom out on a stock like tesla we see that there's still hockey stick growth and, and Tesla has a lot of great things coming out in the future so I just wanted to post this quick video update to give you guys some kind of perspective of what's going on um, we're probably going to see some more selling pressure I think there's some Delta concerns there's lockdowns in other parts of the world so I would say be prepared for um, you know definitely be prepared for some some more red in the in the short run but I think in the long run I think people are gonna eventually gonna have to go back to work. Hopefully, uh, you know, we get over this whole Delta issue and things like that. We fix the supply chain issues, and a, and a short pullback. Okay, it's, it's not so bad. It just really allows you to get into some of these companies that you've been eyeing for a while, and um, allows you to acquire more shares. So to give you guys a couple of picks, especially in the EV space, of course, Tesla is obviously a strong one. Neo, okay, Neo. You know, Neo looks like a nice play. After you know, it's it's ran up. It ran up a ton earlier this year. At 66. You got Neo. It looks like a nice one. Fisker. Fisker looks excellent as well. And ChargePoint. Okay, guys. I still have a long-term price target on ChargePoint. Ran up as high as almost fifty dollars earlier this year. Trading very very near its RSI, guys. Lots of support for ChargePoint at twenty bucks. I think it's an excellent play. Um, I'm going to make a video with some more picks. I kind of wanted to keep this one short, but there's there's lots of other ones as well. Uh, Skills is on my radar, okay? Uh, you've got Jumia. Jumia has been absolutely crushed, okay? Jumia is completely oversold. Look at that, you know. Um, just uh, RSI of 24. No one wants Jumia right now, right? I mean, it looks like it might be headed to the previous low support of around $12. So just as high as $70, guys. So... You know, when you're looking at some of these types of growth stocks and you see them trading at uh, just as high as $70, you know, maybe like it's five or six months ago, okay, um, these companies are still growing and th that means the potential's there, okay. We could easily test these levels again in like a year or two, so you're able to get into some of these stocks at like 60 to 80% off. I just think they're fantastic long-term holds. We know that as long as there's going to be mass money printing, as long as inflation rates are going to be kept. Um, as long as um, uh, as long as the Fed interest rates are going to be kept at uh, you know a low percentage, uh, where are people going to put their money? They're going to put their money in the stocks and crypto. There's really nowhere else that you can get any decent gains. So uh, you know, in right now there's some concerns, but I expect us to bounce back 
from this, uh, you know, in uh, next year. I think the co global economies, I think, are going to really take off. They've been really suppressed over the last two years dealing with these whole pandemic issues. So there's a lot of upside from there. So that's it for now, guys. I wanted to wrap this video up. If you guys enjoy my content, be sure to smash the red subscribe button. And be sure to follow me over at Twitter, guys. You guys are on Twitter. at uh, You can just follow me at Investor Trip. And uh, give you guys a lot of kind of more real-time updates and things like that, what I'm doing in the markets. And to wrap things up quickly, guys, the platform I'm using is Weeble. You guys can grab two free stocks if you click the link in the description below. And be sure to check out Coinbase as well. You've got to get into crypto, guys. Um, I'm going to be talking more about crypto in a separate video. But uh, Bitcoin, it looks like it is going to 100 k this year so lots of upside there i think everyone should have exposure to crypto i use coinbase to buy the majority of my crypto guys it's the safest platform so be sure click the link in the description below or go to investortrip.com slash coinbase to get your free crypto so that's it. until next time guys take care